Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas. I'm Renee Fleming. It goes without saying that we'll all hope for a happier new year. And because I've missed you all, singing into a webcam or a phone is absolutely not a substitute for you, your faces, and your applause. And because my family isn't gathering this year, which means we aren't singing together, I thought we all should sing together. These are some favorite holiday songs in keys that should make it possible for most of you to sing along. So I wanna welcome Dave Sanders. We worked together actually in the opening of Planet Word mm -hmm. and I said, hey, why don't you come over and we'll just do a few uh, holiday songs in my living room. So Dave, what's your favorite thing about the holidays? I really love cooking Christmas dinner with my mom. Wow. You know, every year, it's really, really fun. Do you have a specialty? She makes a flank steak that's rolled with red peppers and pesto. It's really good. Okay, I want that recipe. Okay, I'm, a, I'm a, a cooking and training, and I emphasize the training. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, and that's a yearly, that's an annual yeah, thing. Yeah, every year. So mm -hmm. what, is she, what do you both make for Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is more just a classic turkey, classic. green bean casserole, the oh. standards, mashed potatoes. Oh, super. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm getting, I'm drooling now, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I want to give you a little background on these carols because I was, I found it so interesting when I started uh, learning more about them. It came upon the midnight clear. I so love this text. It's incredibly relevant to right now. 1849, the poem by Edmund Sears, who was a pastor of a Unitarian church in Massachusetts. And Sears had gone through a very difficult time with his health. He had a breakdown and real depression. And he's thought to have written the poem with this message of peace as a reaction to the recent Mexican-American war. And one can really hear his desire uh, to have everyone come together and really hear, hear the call of the angels. Bye. 
O Tannenbaum, O Christmas tree. This did not start out as a traditional uh, folk carol. In fact, it was a, more like a folk song, O Fir Tree, referencing the, because firs are evergreen, referencing uh, faithfulness in love. So the song was really meant to be an antidote to unfaithfulness, which was what clearly the writer had experienced. But in the 19th century, um, Christmas, Christmas trees, all of this became popular and became a, a really a symbol of Christmas. And then verses were added uh, and it became the Christmas classic that we know. Jingle Bells was another famous uh, song that was not originally a Christmas song. Uh, it's really one of the best known pieces in the entire world, and it didn't start its life as a carol. In fact, it was really a racing song. This was another one that was supposedly composed in, uh, I believe it was Medford, Massachusetts, and um, it was the title was One Horse Open Sleigh. And uh, the gentleman who wrote it, um, actually uh, was thinking more about the sleigh races that were popular then. And it was a little bit racy in another sense because a sleigh was a way, one horse open sleigh was a way for an unchaperoned couple to have some alone time in the woods. And the bells actually, the reference to the bells were, were there uh, on the horse's tail because a, a, a horse and a sleigh were virtually silent in the snow. So to keep them safe, to keep them from running into other drivers. And this was a bit of a, a drag race. In fact, these races were, were referencing something extremely popular. <laughs> Go! 
go it while you're young. Take the girls tonight and sing the same song. Just get a bobtail bay to party for his speed. Hitch him to an open sleigh, crack he'll take the lead. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Silent Night has been translated into 140 languages, and now it's been named an intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. Bing Crosby's recording is the fourth best-selling single of all time. The tune was actually written on Christmas Eve in 1818 near Salzburg, Austria. And because the church organ had been damaged in a flood, the song was premiered with guitar and voice. Dave, isn't that great? That's I great. know, I, I was surprised to read that too. We Wish You a Merry Christmas is a traditional carol from the West Country of England, and it's rooted in the classic English caroling tradition where well-to-do families would give treats to visiting singers on Christmas Eve. Figgy pudding, in case you're wondering, refers to the steamed Christmas pudding with raisins or plums, sometimes doused with flaming liquor. It's basically musical extortion. We're not going to go until you give us one of those puddings. Nothing to do with figs, by the way. We 
we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin, good tidings of Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some piggy pudding, now bring us some piggy pudding, now bring us some piggy pudding and bring us some cheer. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin, good tidings of Christmas and a Happy New Year. We won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get some, so bring some out here. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So my request this year is that in lieu of figgy pudding, you donate to the Kennedy Center, the Artist Relief Tree, Sing for Hope, the Agma Relief Fund, or any of the organizations helping performers who are without work and desperately need our assistance. So let's be sure that when we can finally be together again, our artists will have made it through and that there will be stages for them to light up once more and inspire us. I wanna thank the Kennedy Center Dave Sanders, thank you so much. Course, what a pleasure you. singing with you. And thanks to all of you for being with us and for hoping. And I, I wish you all a wonderful holiday season. And I look forward to seeing you in 2021. Mm -hmm.